Hi guys, how you doing? How you doing? Good morning, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I just want to say, look at the beautiful green trees. You guys, if you're healing from narcissistic abuse or any trauma for that matter, just get around some greens, get, uh, trees and get out uh, in the uh, sun. Lots and lots of sun beaming down on you. However, right now I'm standing in the shade because I'm thinking where I'm going to walk because everywhere right now is sunlight and no shade. <laughs> But um, anyway, just being outside, guys, making sure you get some exercise. Actually, that's what I wanted to talk about today is health. Health and trauma. Health and how that can, um, sorry, how you have to take care of your health, guys. You have to take care of your health. Nobody else is going to do it for you, all right? And if you are not healthy, you cannot take care of others. I know you, you put others in front of you. But you come first. You are number una. Okay, number one. Um, so I got inspired by doing this video because uh, a lady at my job, I know she lost her mother about uh, two years ago. And this morning when I seen her, she was just looking stressed. And she's very stressed most of the time. And um, I you know, you understand people after dealing with these narcissistic people. You understand people, you know. And you just try after you, you're healing and everything, you're going to learn how to gray rock people and take people for who they are, you know, but you just know how to keep your distance. So as I'm feeling her energy, I'm like, what's wrong? She said her stomach is messed up, which I think I'm going to go in there and get her um, a ginger beer. Uh, if your stomach is messed up, guys, um, feeling upset, na nauseated, uh, ginger beer, Jamaican ginger beer, or any ginger beer for that matter. But you, what you want to do is drink it um, hot, not cold. Even the regular ginger ale, which is not strong like the Jamaican ginger beer, uh, it's okay. Just don't drink it cold. Drink a hot ginger beer or a hot ginger ale. Okay, that's going to settle your stomach really nicely. Um... I want to talk about health for sure, guys. So her mother died, and she's been dealing with a lot because she got to take care of the father. Listen, you got to take care of you first, like I said. Yes, you want to help. You want to take care of other people. But if you are not well, forget about it. And then the way you take, sometimes the way you take care of people, they don't take care of you like that. I experienced that a lot. So her stomach is messed up. Like I said, I'm going to get her ginger beer. But at the same time, uh, if you keep on getting stressed, it's going to showing your uh you might have a stroke you might have a heart attack uh, people don't understand the mind body connection it is real okay be well get good sleep you got to get good sleep guys some people they don't sleep well they sleep two three four hours tops you need to get at least six to eight hours you need to rest your body you know what i mean sleep is very important because it replenishes your cells it's good for your mind and your spirit too you need to rest a lot of people sleep, but they don't get that good, good sleep. You know, they toss and turn because they got things on their mind. How you remedy that? Take a nice, um, warm bath. Go in the bath. Take a nice, warm bath. Light some candle if you have to. This is why me time is so very important. Uh, um, surround yourself with good people. But as for the bath is concerned, um, light some candles. Be romantic with yourself, okay? Uh, just turn the light off while you're lighting the candles, uh, put some bubble bath, whatever you want to put in there, um, and just just relax. There's so much products, right, guys? Or you could just go in the regular, just regular plain old water, nice and warm, and just relax, clear your mind, you know, just relax. Um, tell the kids you're taking a bath. If you have kids, you no know, knocking on the door. You got to let your kids know that you have me time, and they got to respect that. Let people respect your me time. Your husband need his me time and you need your me time. Yes, you're a family unit, but each individual need me time, which is why you send the kids in, a, in, a, um, in their room or in a little corner by themselves. Let them play. No computer, no nothing. Just let them play and um, deal with the mind. Yes. Can't have them distracted all the time on the games, on the TV. They go to read a book or just you got to teach your kids how to have quiet time with themselves. They could hear God too, guys. Anyway, just giving you guys a little tips on how to self-care and take care of yourself because um, mind, body, soul connection is real and um, your health is the number one asset that you have. Your health, your health. 
You can get up, you can run to the job um, each and every day. Once you are gone, once you're in a hospital, guess what? A manager or a new employer, a substitute employer is going to come and take over your role. They don't care about that. They only care about production. So you need to take care of yourself. You don't feel like going to work one day. You have your um, accumulated times. Take a day off. And that's why they're there. Listen to your body, guys. Listen to your body. When your body tell you that you're tired, you need to just fall back and relax. Your body will tell you. You are so drained. You are so exhausted, especially, guys, if you're going through or coming out of narcissistic abuse. You are going to feel drained, drained, drained. Take time for yourself. Go for a walk in the park. You'll be surprised how, how a walk replenish, replenish, replenish you. And I'm not talking about walking with no kids or nothing. And if you have kids, guys, you need a babysitter that you can rely on, uh, that you could drop the kid off if it's even for an hour. Somebody that you trust. Don't just leave your kids with anybody. You need to make sure the kids are okay. <laughs> Go replenish yourself. Get your nails done. A walk in a park. Be around greenery. This is why I like to... I'm standing under here right now, guys. You don't even understand the healing that it's doing to me. I love the trees. I love the water. That's another thing. Get around a body of water, guys. It's amazing. It does wonders for your soul. Okay? You need soul food. Um, you need mind food. And you need physical food. Okay, guys? You need it. Oh, by the way, as we're talking about food and healing, make sure you take care of your health. By eating right, food matters. You cannot be eating chips every day and think you're going to be healthy. You need some greenery. Are you going up and down? Are you, I just want to know, because I'm doing a video. Are you going up and down? Are you going up and down so I can get out your way? Are you doing this? Are you doing this whole thing right now? Okay. That's what I'm talking about, guys. People don't have like respect. You just saw the coming. I'm like, I didn't know what he was doing. Mind, body, and soul, guys. Pay attention. Oh, um, oh, so loud. Excuse me, guys. This guy, I didn't know what he was doing because at first he was on the sidewalk. Just let me move. <laughs> Courtesy is what it's called. Anyway, I need to take a walk, so. Um, I know this, guys. Pay attention to yourself. And that's, let's talk to the ladies now. <laughs> you know when you're taking a bath? And you know, like you do your little finger and you clean yourself and everything. I hope, I hope you guys are doing that. Um, you need to, I, I say that to say, you need to pay all type of attention to your body, to your breast, to your vagina. Uh, your earlobe, everything. Just pay attention. Look at yourself. Okay? It's not called masturbation. It's you testing yourself. You're making sure you're okay, all right? When you're taking a shower. Okay? Just saying, guys. Got to take care of yourself. Um, damn. So much things to unpack here. The guy just interrupted my video. Let me sit over here. You gotta find quiet places. I like quiet places, guys. Quiet places you can think. It's a little, I guess they're doing their little rounds right now. I'm gonna sit right here and do my video. Um, come on, let me drop my, I don't normally put my bag on the floor, but I wanna do this video for you guys. You gotta take care of yourself when you're in the shower. Um, again, your little vaginal, little cleaning. Uh, you make sure you do your breast tests. Make sure you do that often uh, so you can know when something is off, okay? Um, if you are still with a partner, um, this happened to me as well. Make sure your pH level, your sex health is important as well, okay? So you want to make sure you're, you're testing yourself, you know, every time. Um, your breasts and uh, your pH level, even the smell, even the smell of the odor of your body, everything, you know? Your, your mouth, your body, everything. You test, you understand? Um, your pH level, guys, when your partner is sleeping out on you and you notice that scents are off, don't let them convince you that it's all in your mind. That's what my partner did to me. Uh, you know your body, when it starts smelling different, believe it. Oh, the sun, hot man, never move again. We're going to do this video. We're going to complete this video today in the name of Jesus.
All right. Um, wow, I just wanted to just relax, man. Okay. You need to pay attention to your um, pH level. Um, if your scent changes, you need to go to the GYN and check yourself. You might have uh, all type of uh, problems going on down there, STDs. So you want to make sure you check on yourself. Don't let, you, come on now. We cannot keep on believing everything someone tell us. Even though we love them and we think we trust them, you never really truly know a person. So use your mind, use your intuition as well, okay? Um, after you come out the narcissistic relationship, I suggest that you go to um, the clinic, you get uh, your full GYN checkup, stress tests, uh, and things like that. Make sure you go on to the doctor, uh, if it's even once a year or twice a year, guys. You wanna get to the dentist, you wanna make sure your, uh, your oral health is okay, because your oral health um, has a lot to do with your, your health itself. Um, did you guys know that, um, uh, what do you call this, the, the, the plaque? The plaque determines if you're gonna have a heart attack or not. So uh, I just really wanted to let you guys know your health is important. Um, when you are going and you're in a hardship, whether it's uh, a divorce, um, um, you're having a health issue, did you know you can heal yourself, guys? It's all in the mental and all in your belief system. It says it in the Bible, guys. Open your mouth. Declare it in the name of Jesus that you are healthy and you're not ill, okay? You want to change all of these things by uh, eating food. It's a big, big part of it. I am getting better with that myself, uh, trying to, and so my, my food now, um, I have fruits, I like peaches, plums, uh, watermelon, I have mangoes in my fridge right now, but then I love bananas, but if I don't, uh, I might buy like three, because I don't like, I love when it's yellow, I don't like when it's black, even though people say uh, the ones with the spots are the best. Uh, you gotta eat your fruits and your vegetable, guys. So instead of buying potato chips, Buy some fruits that you like. Get in the habit and real, real quick, uh, you're gonna start eating a little healthier. Try to get some greens in your um, food. Uh, you don't have to eat rice all the time. You know, you probably grew up eating rice all the time, but you could change that. Um, so instead of having rice with your, uh, with your, um, your, your, your meats, if you eat meat, uh, you put some vegetables with that, substitute it with vegetables instead. Your protein is what I wanted to say. I was trying to figure it out. Um, try to eliminate eating a lot of red meat, but you know, you could eat it once in a while, but try to eliminate it. Eat a lot of fish and a lot of chicken, um, a lot of beans. Um, guys, you gotta get healthy. And then when you get healthy, you teach the kids how to get healthy. Uh, a lot of people still give their kids candy, but it's like, oh, it's horrible. Oh, let me share this story with you guys. So yesterday, they had the Bad Bunny concert over at the Yankee Stadium. And I went to cover it, guys. And um, you can see the videos on my page if you care to look. That's just up the neighborhood that I went to um, um, to check it out. So on my Facebook page, which is Sharon Walker, but you can find me through Roses Resources on Facebook, um, you'll see the full videos on there. Um, yeah, so I was like trying to support the people in the community. Oh my God, this boy is so annoying. He was first over there, now he come over here. Ugh, let me walk over here. I'm trying to finish my video. This is good information right here. I was inspired this morning by the lady telling me, now he's coming back over here. What to do? <laughs> oh my God. You ever, you, that's what I'm talking about. The misery, the misery in the world, like with the noise and um, how you hear God with all the noise and everything. Even though Long Island is a little quieter, much let me check something guys sorry long island is much quieter because it's a little peaceful in the bronx it's like oh, noise everywhere that's another thing you need to get your spiritual health um together as well spiritual health is very important you read your bible um necessary to read your bible guys if you even just read the bible once read the bible and get connected um quiet time you sit you meditate you listen to you know hopefully the right voice okay um, just listen and meditate, guys. Be still. You got to be still to work out and clarify your mind, okay? Um, listen to your intuition. Follow it. It's not going to deceive you. 
It's always right, guys. Listen to your intuition. Let me get back to the story now. I wanted to support the people in the neighborhood um, because they had the Bad Bunny concert. I don't drink liquor. I don't smoke weed anymore. Um, I had just finished cooking. Um, I made some good porgies with some uh, vegetables and stuff yesterday. Mm, avocado, everything. Um, and uh, I see them selling like, it looks like chocolate, right? And I love chocolate. Um, so I'm like, oh, let me support this girl. And I love that she told me these are edible. So I'm like, what's that? <laughs> yeah, of course it's edible. That's what I thought. Yeah, it was like, I guess, you know, enhancement stuff for you to go high like a kite. I'm like, thank God you told me, <laughs> but no thanks. You know, like, thank God you told me. So what I did, I just gave her $5 for support. You know what I'm saying? Give it to somebody else. I, you know, I don't want those things. Um, I'm really just trying to get some peace here, guys. Like I'm trying to tell you guys, you got to get your own peace. However you get it, you get your own peace. Uh, if, they, if things are not serving, you got to walk away. Just like I'm walking away from this noise, you walk away, guys. And it's all around me right now because they got, they're cleaning the area, I guess. This is the time I decide to do my video. It's so loud. Oh. Walk away from anything that's disturbing your peace, guys. That's number one. And that's relationships. Um, sometimes even your children, your spouse, your parents, you got to walk away. Your job, I had to walk away from my job when I left the narcissist. I had to walk away from my job because my peace was being disturbed. Anything that's disrupting your peace, you got to leave. And guess what? I got even a better job. You have to step out in faith, which is why I want you guys to just start reading the Bible and start developing a relationship with God. Okay? Just try it. You've been trying everything else, right? You've been trying everything else. Why not try God? Try him. Let him be your savior. Uh, John 3:16 says, For God so loved the world so much, he gave his only begotten son, so that we shall not perish, but we shall have everlasting life in the name of Jesus, guys. Come to him. He will give you that peace that suppresses all understanding, guys. Um, that man that you're looking for to love, un, you know, unconditioned, that man that you're looking for to love you um, like nobody's business, um, that man will deceive you. That woman will deceive you. Um, you got to love yourself first. You know what I'm saying? So you'll be strong enough to walk away when things don't serve you. You understand? Um, that thing, the sex, uh, the shoes, uh, the coats, the cars, the house, the trips. None of those things matter unless you have inner peace. <laughs> inner peace. You know peace? Peace that no matter what you're going through, guys. Um, no matter what you're going through, the devastation, the death, the trials, the tribulation, it will not shake you. It will not shake you because you got a peace in the name of Jesus that just centers you. And it just lets you know that you'll be okay. You know what I mean? You don't have to... Um, be chaotic yes you might you might feel like you want to cry because you're just human but you'll cry it out uh to strengthen up yourself and then you'll know that god got your back so try him today god guys try him repent for all your sins guys and try god he is like so amazing i'm telling you guys i'm two years in and i love it it's not that i don't need anybody because i would love to have a partner um, a partner that, first of all, uh, put God first and let him direct you. That's what I'm looking for. And it's so hard. The narrow path is so hard. If it was so easy, everybody would do it, guys. <laughs> it's not easy. I could tell you um, that it's not easy. It's a lot of temptation. But you have to know what you want in life. Do you want this temporary life or do you want that everlasting life? <laughs> okay, we all have our own belief. And I'm not pushing it. I'm just telling you guys about my peace. Okay? No longer if something happened, whether it's monetary, whether a relationship leaves me, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, I just know that he comforts me and he's here for me. I go in my secret place and I talk to him all the time. You got to get your spiritual life, your mental life, psychological life, 
sexual life, all of that. You got to get that whole thing in order, which is mind, body, and soul. All right? I'm not going to stay much longer, guys. I really just wanted to give you guys this message that if you don't take care of yourself, guys, you're going to drop dead and somebody else is going to, whether it's a relationship, if you're married, you might think your spouse won't replace you. They're going to be here suffering forever. No, they're going to replace you probably the next week. It happens, guys. So I want you guys to take care of yourself. Whatever it is in life that you want to do, just do it. Don't be afraid. Live life now. If you've been on the job for 20 years and you want to take a, a leap of faith and you want to try your own business because you have skills, we all do, do it. Maybe go on your job part-time and do your, that thing that gives you the, a beautiful energy, that thing that you will do for free, that thing that you keep on pouring your heart out about, do it. Just do it. And you're going to see how successful you're going to be because you love it and that's your gift. Your gift will find you, your gift will find you. I don't want you to run down relationship because if that man or woman is for you, it's gonna show up in your life, okay? You don't gotta run down a man, you don't gotta run down a woman, you don't gotta do that. When they run in, let them go, okay? Let them go. Um, somebody that loves you is not gonna run away from you, okay? Um, we all searching for love, but the love is within us. First, when you know that, then you'll be okay, all right? Heal yourself, guys. Heal your childhood trauma, and everything will fall in place. We all have childhood trauma that we did not deal with. Heal your childhood trauma. Get connected with God. Take care of yourself, okay? And what you gotta forgive people. Whatever it is that somebody did for you and did, did um, against you and you can't forgive them, you're going to always be a prisoner to this person. Don't be a prisoner. Release yourself today. Release yourself today. Do not be a prisoner. Even though you don't have to tell the person, you just go to God, go in your secret place and say, I forgive you. I release you in the name of Jesus. Release that person. Release that thing that hurt you. If you was molested, uh, if you was raped, uh, if they try to murder you, whatever it is, forgive them. You don't got to tell them, guys. Just forgive them and move on with your life. Don't be a prisoner. Release them. If you don't forgive them, you're going to be wrapped up in bondage for the rest of your life. I lived it, and I'm telling you, okay? The person that I love the most and trust the most, in the name of Jesus, betrayed me so badly that I was, like, floored for quite a while. But I had to forgive that person and move on. Life goes on. Let them live, and you live your best life because God got you covered in karma. What, what they say, reap what you sow, is serious. Spiritual laws are real, okay, guys? Forgive that person and move on. I beg you, please, okay? It's not worth your health. If you keep on harboring um, resentment and unforgiveness, you know what's going to happen to you? You're going to get all type of sickness in your, in your, in your, in your body. Let me tell you, I'm telling you. Me, I don't want to get sick, so I got to release that trauma. Release that trauma. It starts here. All, all kind of trauma is in your body. You got to release it. In the name of Jesus, release that trauma right now. All right, guys? If you need prayer, um, we could pray together. Um, please, rosesresources at gmail. Rosesresources at gmail. That's roses with a S, resources with a S at gmail. Release that trauma today in the name of Jesus, guys. I want you guys to be healthy. And uh, so you can live to see your grandkids and you can live to take care of your kids if you have them. And you could just live your best life, all right? It's really beautiful to have somebody in our life. But if that somebody is toxic and if that person is weighing you down, release them in the name of Jesus, all right? All right, so I'm gonna walk. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, get out of bondage today. Get out of bondage. You do not have to be in bondage. Let that demon go. Let that strong man go. We rebuke them right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the evil man. Oh, yeah. Open your mouth, guys, and declare it. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed today and forevermore. Okay, but you got to believe it. You got to have that mustard seed of faith, okay? All right, guys. It's Monday. Happy Monday. I got to get back to work now. Please make sure you drop a comment in here. Leave your testimony in here, okay, guys? I know he been, he been good to you. I know he got you through some very severe hard times, okay? So leave, don't be afraid um, to tell me down in the comment box 
what he had done to you, okay, how you escaped whatever trauma and how he healed you from whatever it is. Just like this lady at work. Ooh, I forgot I got to get her a, um, a ginger ale in the name of Jesus. Guys, you are healed. You are well. Take care of yourself. All right? Nobody else is going to do it for you. There you go. There you go, God riding his bike. That's so good for his mind, body, and soul. Okay? Thank you, guys. Enjoy your day.